Our coverage continues on those thefts of cal catalytic converters. Vehicles for San Antonio ISD becoming the latest targets. It is a crime we have reported on as the number of victims grows. The converter is part of a vehicle's exhaust system and helps clean hazardous em em emission. Thieves target the parts for the valuable precious metals inside, selling them to recycling facilities. The night team's Patty Santos tells us Texas lawmakers are trying to tighten up restrictions on the recycling industry. On Tuesday, catalytic converter thieves struck a fleet of SAISD vehicles. Each one cost um, anywhere between twelve and sixteen hundred dollars. In May, fifty of them were stolen from the Mitsubishi dealership on San Pedro Avenue. Several law enforcement in the area report countless other similar thefts at company parking lots and residential areas. The reason they're so expensive is because there's uh, precious metals that are inside of them, such as platinum. But Texas victims have had enough. You know, that kind of, kind of converter, they may be able to sell it for like 50 bucks, but it's going to cost you $1,000 plus to get that fixed on your car. State lawmakers are looking to tighten the requirements for recycling companies that buy these stolen catalytic converters. House Bill 4110, waiting for the governor's signature, would require them to ask for a seller's ID, the year, make, and model of the vehicle it came from, and ownership title or like information. It also requires them to document each piece purchased. But what's more, sellers would only get $25 cash for regulated metal. Repair shops will also be required to keep records of the catalytic converters they remove. If they fail to do what's required in, the, in this law, it will be a state jail felony uh, and they will be prosecuted by your local DA. Those in the auto repair industry say some of these requirements already exist, but some turn a blind eye. Right now we have a system that essentially just covers our eyes and says we don't see anything. That doesn't really work. We, we have to be able to at least take proactive measures to try to stop this type of um, illegal behavior. And right now this crime is a class A misdemeanor. The governor has until the 20th of this month to either uh, sign or veto the bill. Now some companies and even school districts are using high temperature spray paint and etching vehicle identification numbers onto the catalytic converters to make them more distinguishable if they are stolen. Steve, ECC.